Zimbabwe released the gold back digital currency of peer to peer and peer to business transactions as well as to act as toll value as the country's currency continues to lose ground against the major currencies. The tokenized digital coins were to serve as an alternative investment option for the market as opposed to the conduct of chasing after the US on the parallel market, which was the norm. That uh, started uh, selling today in the market. Pursuant to our resolution of uh, the Matter Policy Committee of uh, 24 July 2022 and also our bank statement of uh, 4 July 2022, the bank is today released the first batch of 2,000 Mosotina gold coins in the market. Local agents commenced selling the gold coin on an agent basis at the initial price of $1,823.80 per gold coin or small dollars $805,745.35 using the willing buyer willing seller selling rate as a Friday the, this last month. Gold coins can also be purchased in domestic currencies such as the South African rand. Botswana Pula, Australian dollar, British pound, and euro. The bank shall publish from tomorrow, 26th of July, 2022, the Mosul Junior Gold Coin Prize by 8 a.m. on a daily basis, which will be based on the previous day, London Bureau Market Association, LMBA, uh, PM6, this afternoon. Plus five percent to cover the cost of production and distribution of gold coins. As we are aware, which is the, I would advise you, <coughs> the gold coins have the following specifications. Number one, denominated in one ounce gold. For the time being, because you might uh, always uh, increase uh, the number of, uh, they would reduce the weight so that it is uh, everyone can also be able to purchase. So it's like one ounce, a good quarter, and three quarters. Uh, as, as time goes, metal gold is there and purity 22 carats, which is 91,67% purity. The diameter is 32 millimeters and weight 33,93 grams, and the shape is round. So they look like this. So when you sell the gold coins, like this, <coughs> of plastic, it was reserve bank plastic, and the gold coins will be like this. And this is definitely a pure gold. And uh, this bit of to Zimbabwe, this is what they look like. Um. The, as we have advised you before, again, the gold coins uh, they can be used uh, there for the <coughs> asset status, meaning that they are limited. Prescribed asset status for those pensioners that want to buy them, the pension companies, they use them, the preset asset status. Collateral acceptability, they agreed, they accepted as collateral. One to borrow from a bank or from a, any person you can, bring, can give them is a security, is collateral. They are tradable, you can trade them in the market. And they, they are serial number. Serial number is, by the way, is on the edge of, of this gold coin. The edge, there is a serial number there. So the first one would be, say, Z5001. That would be the first uh, gold coin. So we continue Z for Zimbabwe. And zero, 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 five zeros up to uh, the number at the end. So that is uh, this bear uh, certificate here is a security document. If you look at it, you see the security features as well advised in the press. Prospect Tambara, the development economist, maintained that the Zimbabwean government has reintroduced the tokenized digital coins to solve the hyperinflation that has been recurring economic feature of the last two decades. Backed by a certain amount of gold which helps keep its value stable, this currency is tied to the market value of gold. Ideally, this involves having a certain measure of the gold reserves. According to the state-owned media reports, Zimbabwe in April had 350 kilograms of gold in reserves valued at 22.8 million US dollars at the current price and it tends to build reserves to around 100 million US dollars. The Southern African country is part of the African states like Nigeria, Ghana and South Africa that have introduced digital currencies even as several others have plans in the works.